Today, I'm going to teach you how to synchronize the mod folder with dedicated server in just a few clicks. Stay tuned. Good afternoon. Tutorial time. Sorry if I'm talking funny. Um, I just came back from the dentist. Um, today we're gonna learn how to synchronize the mods instead uh, downloading the latest modifier with causing loads of issues. People backing up loads of mods I don't use no more. Maybe some bad mods and mods crashing the game or interrupting with my some other stuff. So today we're gonna use different software to synchronize the mod folder instead of instead of downloading latest modified it's free absolutely free it's slightly different from, from filezilla so might get used to need to need, need time to get used to i think it's great program great software and it's called uh it's called Vin C S C P. It's absolutely free. You can donate. There is a pro version, but free version works just fine. So how you find it, I'll click I will leave the link below in the description. And just click download. The latest version. Click download. And the automatic download for you. Click it in, uh, save it in uh, your downloads and just install it. I recommend to do it for me only as nobody else is going to use this. Uh, it's typical installation. Click next, next and install. Simple as that. Do you want to import the WinCSP from uh, FileZilla? Just click no, as this is importing completely different stuff, uh, which is uh, uh, doesn't work for you. So just click no and untick this box and click finish. Here we go. We installed it. Once we installed it, it's automatically pop up the window asking you to connect to FileZilla okay so where you get the numbers for FileZilla this is on my website drjulia.com also going to be link in the description below click on my mods okay that's my website you go on the, my mods over here and there's all the numbers okay so port 21 you can have selection over here click FTP. Don't worry about the second one. Uh, click go for the host. Right. Host. For the host name. I go here. Press. Uh, come on. Make sure you put that. No. Copy. And paste. And then username. copy and paste you can do it with ctrl v and ctrl c and a password here ctrl c and a ctrl v paste and we're gonna do we're gonna save this we're gonna save this i'm not gonna create no folders here or anything save the password and create desktop shortcut as well okay do that create desktop shortcut and click ok and now we have our desktop shortcut right here it's a donut ftp blah 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 okay we're just gonna keep it somewhere here right here and click login and here we go we logged in simple as that simple as that because there is a another one and some people have different connections 
these few people have different connections to you they bypass all the queues we can create a new one as well i'm just gonna close this down click yes and we're gonna open under again this vincp and here we go we're gonna do a new site choose ftp and we're gonna go and again do again the same thing Control c host name Control v we're gonna go we're gonna go Control c username Control v password the same limited Control c Control v we're gonna click save save the password create desktop, desktop shortcut and press ok and here we go we have another desktop shortcut right here and click login and that will log in for you so easy okay i'm just gonna close this never ask me this again okay click this box just never ask me again and now i'm gonna click on those shortcuts i have over here so I click on that shortcut that immediately takes me to the ftp server okay so once you created your desktop uh, folders and you open up okay i just i renamed them here you can press press f2 and rename it click it once and hold it you can click right mouse button show my options and rename so i named them docs mod server one docs mod server two it's absolutely doesn't matter so now the navigation part of to find your mod folder so on the right hand side is your ftp on your left hand side is your computer how to navigate is it this tab right but right. this tab right here you can choose the drive whatever your mods are if you have you know if a bit more advanced you can have more keep mods in the different folders let's say your default so we go to my documents right in this tab my documents my games i'm going to 22 and mod and that's it so now the synchronizing part is so so simple hey okay, i'm just gonna open this again okay so you navigate it you open up you got my mod folder you have your ftp open up and now this button right here click synchronize so this is important okay you need to do local because you're synchronizing your local folder with the ftp okay you need to do delete files this way it will delete files i already don't have it in my mod folder okay uh, let's say i'm gonna put something in there let's say put this file in there Drag it in there this way it will delete the mods i already don't use it and uh yeah you will be 100 percent synchronized so local remember local delete files untick modification time untick that box and click file size that's it remember local delete file size click ok so now it's synchronizing and it's going to show you that i have a mod i don't use it no more ok and there are four mods are missing click ok and it will download it for you that that simple this way you will be up to date with every single mod i have if you don't want to delete files don't take that box. I do recommend do it, but it's down to you. It is absolutely down to you. Here we go. Ready to go. Ready to go. If you have questions, please find me in the Discord and ask me in the Discord. Don't forget to leave the like on this video, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe as uh, streams moving up 
to YouTube. More and more streams are going to be here. More tutorials and more videos. Don't forget to hit that notification bell too. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope this video will be helpful. And uh, see you on the field. Over and out. Peace.